All right, I just want to rant about some stuff right now. Mainly, well, let's talk about pre-orders. Let's talk about video game pre-orders in the year of 2024 and leading up to it. I don't see a reason for the everyday person to pre-order any video games right now in the year 2024. And really, I haven't seen a, a reason for it since like the Xbox 360 time frame. And one time I will say it was okay. The best time was that Halo 2, Halo 3 time, time frame where you knew you were getting a good game and Bungie was releasing great stuff at that time. Not talking about 343. Anyways, getting back on track here. Pre-orders. What's, what's the point right now of getting a pre-order? You can maybe play it three days early. whoop de do. You get skins. I'm not a fan of different skins. I really don't care about those day one skins. I'm not a person who cares about skins. I'm a potato. Potato skins scare the crap out of me. But my point is, there's no reason to pre-order a game. The game's going to come out buggy. There's going to be problems with it on day one. So instead of paying full price, if not exceeding full price, because you can have different categories of a pre-order. You can do the base pre-order, whatever they want to call it, the base game. Call it $70 game. A base $70 game that's going to have bugs. Now, if you want to get the deluxe edition, typically $20 to $30 more. So from $70, we're bouncing up to $90 to $100 for whatever perks they throw in, whether it's skins or being able to play a handful of days earlier. And when those handful of days are gone, everybody else can play it and you're not special anymore. You might have a skin, but nobody really cares because you're probably pre-ordering a single player game. So who cares about your skins in a single player game that you got for paying more for a pre-order and or deluxe edition? And then you have the collector's edition, which can range from astronomical prices but a lot of times those come with extra things such as a statue or something. And if that's your thing, if you're a collector and you like getting those statues, okay, I get it. But you can't be doing that on all the games. I can't see people doing that for Call of Duty every time or the, the next big thing, whatever name game. I can't think of anything right now other than Assassin's Creed, but some of those statues are cool. But I'm not going to pay that price for it. I'm not going to do it. Even for the Halo 3 with the, when the helmet came out. I had a buddy who bought it. It was cool, but it just wasn't for me. And the other thing too, is after you buy a game, or a after a game comes out, it's going to be on sale. That game's going to be on sale if it's an Ubisoft game within three months. If it's a Nintendo game, never. But my point is the game is not going to be that $70 at the whole time also when you go and get that game on sale say a year from when it comes out all those bugs are going to be fixed it's going to be a way better experience what you would have paid and what your experience would have been for a full price game day one now the only person i see who should really consider or i i could understand pre-ordering is that content creator who isn't really in the industry yet, who's not getting those games early, like the game ranks, or I don't know, Spawnway is probably getting stuff early, RGT85, those guys are gonna get those games early, right? But the guys that are at like 40,000, 50,000 subs, they're getting good views, however, they're not getting the games for free, but they wanna play it early. They're not getting that early access or the review codes, but they want to put content out for their viewers to see and maybe they can get, you know, grow a little more. I, I get that. And they're probably going to get more views if the game's bad and buggy than if it's a perfectly smooth launch. But let's be real. When was the last non-Nintendo really good launch title? I, I can't think of one. I'm sure there's one out there. Assassin's Creed Mirage was not as buggy, although that was the last game I pre-ordered and I absolutely, I don't despise it, but it wasn't my cup of tea and I regret pre-ordering that game. Every time I see it on sale, I'm like, well, if I had just waited a little bit, I could have played it for the same amount of time and put it out and not finished it, then 
when I when I paid for full price. Although it was only, I think it was a fifty dollar game, so it wasn't wasn't outrageous. And I didn't buy any deluxes. I just bought the, the base game. But yeah, I I kind of wish I didn't pre order that game. So I, I'm just getting upset at all these different things for pre orders. I I don't get the point of a pre order as far as a consumer. I only see it as a not necessarily predatory, but I don't like the practice of it because now you are guaranteeing that developer and publisher, mainly the publisher, the money up front before the game is probably even ready to go. I'm just saying pre-orders aren't for me. And if you want to pre-order a game, by all means, go ahead. As long as you're having fun gaming game, but I'm not a fan of pre-orders.